Hi everybody, it's Joni. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday morning. I am here. Um, my husband is out golfing and my uh, kids, they work late. Um, so they're still sleeping and even the dogs are quiet. I don't know, they're probably up to no good. Um, but, so I thought I'd take a minute and um, do some of my hauls with you. So um, I did a Michaels haul um, a couple of days ago, maybe two or three days ago, and um, I got some good stuff and some good deals. I got um, these Distress markers. Well, they're crayons, Distress crayons. And um, I had bought the tin to hold them in at Tuesday morning um, last week. So I was happy to find these. This was the last pack they had. They had this one and another one. Um, the other one was all dark colors and I'm a pastel girl. I would like to get the dark um, colored ones, but um, not just first. So, um, okay, so these Distress Crayons, it was 50 off I got them at. They were $17.99, so I got them for $8.99 um, with the 50 off coupon. But I, I know that at Hobby Lobby these were $12.99. So, um, I don't know. I've... I hate to say it, but I find that when Michaels has sales and and or they have really good coupons out, the price of certain things go up so that even when you use the coupon, it brings it down to just a little bit less than the normal price. So um, had I realized that at the moment, I wouldn't have bought them there. I would have bought them at Hobby Lobby with the 40 off coupon there. Um, but. Um, buyer beware um, so I just wanted to share that little piece of advice with you um, okay I bought these um, these are made by recollection and they are chipboard and um, how much were these I'm sorry guys I feel like I'm not ready I, you know what it is I have this really long clip on here um, okay, so this was not on sale. It was $5.99 and I paid $5.99 for it. So, um, but there are 10 pieces in it, which I thought was a pretty good price. So, I was happy with that. So, I'll be using that for some mixed media projects. This, however, I thought was a very good price. This is made by Stampendous. It is a metal... Um, stencil and um, you it's normally $16.99 and they were clearanced out at $5.97 now this is what it looks like so it has that big butterfly that you can trace you know with a um, pen and I think they even give you one yeah they do there um, or you can use this in your mixed media, like with some of that uh, modeling paste, you know, and make yourself a big butterfly. Now, there's this here. This is sort of a squarish flower. I guess you could not go all the way in the corners, so it wouldn't be square, and make a flower out of that. And on the back, it shows you some examples. So here would be like a solid one. Here would be where you put this one, kind of you build on it and put that in the butterfly. You know, so you actually get like three ways of doing things out of this. So I was really happy to see that because some of the, um, I have some stencils that I've already ripped. I mean, I, I, I want to tell you the ones that I have found that work the best so far, that are the best 
constructed is the ones that I got at Walmart, not the ones I got at the crafting store. Not not the the delusion ones are real thin, and one already cracked. It's like it was, I bought it cracked and didn't realize it. And the other ones look like they can rip really easy. The ones I got at Walmart, it doesn't seem like you have to be as gentle with them. So. Um, so I'm just going to be careful, you know, which kind I get. Um, I did pick up some glue because this was on sale also. I've heard a lot of people talk about the Tombow glue. So this is what it looks like. It's liquid glue. And um, how much was it? Uh, it was $2.99, which... I thought for a good glue, that's not bad. It's 1.69 ounces. So I I got some Tombow glue. Um, and this was really, um, I was most happy to find. You know, um, the mixed media can get really expensive. I was looking for clear gesso because I did this project, which I have a video on, um, not me doing it, but it finished and me explaining how I did it, so you'll see it. But I used the regular gesso to, um, to kind of prime my surface for the rest of my project, but the, um, I, what I did was I took a piece of flat canvas, not the one that's like, you know, um, dimensional, and um, anyway, I primed, I, I glued on some paper. Um, well, first I did gesso, then I put on some pretty uh, Prima, mar Prima marketing paper, and then I put on another coat of gesso over it, and then I spritzed on it. But when I put a, even a thin layer of the, the regular white gesso on it, um, it might as well have been a white piece of paper that I had laid down. So, um, so I was trying to figure out like how do people do that, you know, who use work on top of a piece of paper and still have the design of the paper show through. And I discovered there is such a thing called clear gesso. So I was looking around near all the mixed media stuff in the art section and a lot of that stuff is like for, you know, they're, they're not buckets of um, stuff. They're, you know, like four ounce containers for like anywhere between 15 and $20. And then I stumbled across these and these were on clearance. They are made by um, Art Basics. Um, there, Finnebar, which is a, a good name in mixed media. Um, Finnebar Art Basics, and it's called Gesso, and it says clear, and then below it, it says Yeso. <laughs> but, um, so I got the last two they had, and I got them, and they were half off. So, for two of them, and these are, let me tell you how many ounces they are. These are 8.45 fluid ounces. And um, so I got these for $4.99 each. They were originally $9.99. So um, this was a really good price. So I had to pick up both of them, even though I don't need both of them right now. But I'll, I won't see that price again. So I picked these up. And, um, and that was my Michaels haul. Um, you know, I was just kind of killing time while I was waiting for my son to come out of one of his appointments. And, um, so I, uh, ran into Michael's while, um, I was waiting and that's what I picked up. And, um, so I will be, I just have to edit that video and I'll be posting it today where you can see actually what I did. Um, with my mi mixed media project. I'm real happy with the way it came out. I learned a lot. Um, I made, you know, some mistakes in how I adhered things and, um, but that's okay. That's how you learn, you know. 
by mistakes. Um, so, uh, but it, it looks nice. And, um, and I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna, you know, keep doing it and see what I can come up with. But, um, yeah, it's not a tutorial. It's just me showing. It's a project share, and I tell you how I did it. And, um, and so if you enjoyed my video, if you would give me a thumbs up, and I'll be back in a little while with a Joann's haul. Thanks so much for watching, guys.